What's good, Z Nation? We are back for another TPZ Reacts. Today, we're trying to give TPZ a heart attack. I, I'm pretty sure I found a good one. Like, I went through, and you know, you kind of scroll over stuff, and it starts auto playing or whatever. This one didn't auto play. This was the only one out of like 15 that didn't auto play. I'm like, that's gonna be the one. So, yeah trying to get some sneak peeks to find some good stuff but all right let's get on into this i'm kind of don't you pop i might yeet you across the room we good freaking doing that scary light thing shit i can't fix that either but creepy let's go Charlie, Charlie, are you here? Oh, hell no! What? No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, God, oh, God! Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary! What? Yo, yo, I just got chills. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. You've heard of Bloody Mary and Charlie, Charlie? Games that can literally summon demons and ghosts. Well, on today's list, I'll be talking about those creepy games and more. These games can be extremely dangerous, so please, whatever you do, don't play them. From a game that will well, bring I'm you in direct communication with a demon to another this. that will make you see the devil. Well, Let's talk about these and screwed. more with the top 10 games scarier than a Ouija board. Starting off this countdown, we have Bloody Mary. I wish I was talking about the cocktail here, but I'm not. Now, I feel like most of you have heard of this game. It was super popular when I was a kid, and I played it lots, so I'm surprised I'm not cursed. Anyways, there are a number of different ways to play the game, but the most common one is to go into a dark bathroom, look into the mirror, and chant Bloody Mary three times. Some say you must surround yourself by candles. Others claim you have to spin around while saying her name. Or you have to say, Bloody Mary, I believe in you. This supposedly summons Bloody Mary. And if it works, she will reach out of the mirror and scratch you. Or grab you and pull you back into the mirror with her. Apparently, Bloody Mary is described as a rotting, skeleton-looking woman. With long, sharp nails, rotting flesh, and matted, dirty, and bloody hair. Some say she's eyeless. Come at me. Others say she wears the eyes of her past victims. Either way, not a game I ever want to play again. In our ninth spot, we me. have The Devil's Face. This is the game for you if you have ever wanted to see what the devil looks like. Basically, um, okay. it's simple. Go to your bathroom at night right before midnight. Stand in front of the dark mirror and close your eyes. When the clock strikes midnight, open your eyes and stare into the mirror. You should see the devil staring right back at you. Yeah. So I'm the devil. Like, get it? Like, you're the devil? Yeah. In our eighth spot, we have Charlie Charlie. This game seems simple enough. Get a piece of paper, draw a grid on it so that there are four different sections, and write yes and no in the boxes. Then take two pencils and balance one on top of the other. Start the game That's by saying, balance. Charlie Charlie, are you here? If he is, the pencils will move and it should point to yes. Then you can start to ask him yes or no questions. Now, who exactly is this Charlie boy? Well, it ain't Charlie Brown, that's for sure. Now, there are a number of versions. One claims he's a demon from Mexico. Others say he's the ghost of someone who took their own a life. Fidget spinner? Or the ghost of someone that died in a tragic accident. Either way, I'm not that's trying to contact funny. nobody from the afterlife. No, thank you. Especially because Charlie has sinister intentions. Now guys, before I go any further, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You know the drill, because it really helps out. Yeah, Moving on to like number it. seven, we have the thumbs closet up. game. This game, if and done correctly, here. will summon a demon into your own home. Again, why is this considered a game? What's scary is that this game is fairly easy. Yeah, it's easy to summon demons. Great. Anyways, all Makes you have sense. to do is stand in your closet in the night with an unlit match. Then out loud, you have to say, oh, I don't even want to say it. Show me the light or leave me in the darkness. Once you hear a faint whisper, light up the match. Oh, I'm getting shivers. Ugh. If you don't, you will be dragged off into the darkness. If you light it in time, you're safe from this demon. But now you've invited it to live in your closet. And you always have to shut the closet door every night before bed. 
and you can never look inside the closet without a light on. Moving on to number Good six, thing we all have my closets the elevator connected. game. I think this one has to be one of the scariest games on this list. And I don't know why it's considered a game. Like, it's not fun, and it can cause death or possession. The elevator game is said to be one of the world's most dangerous games. Now, there are a bunch of rules you have to follow. When done correctly, you can visit another world. Basically, you have to be in an elevator that has at least 10 floors. When you're in the elevator, nope. you have to press the floor buttons in a specific order. Nope. I ain't telling you because you guys aren't playing this game. After doing so, you press the fifth floor and a woman will enter the elevator with you. This woman is not alive and it is deadly if you look or talk to her. Then you're supposed to go to the 10th floor, which will bring you to another dimension. The other world is identical to ours, but with slight differences. Like, maybe the lights will be off and electronics won't work. And you can encounter ghosts. Now, there are reports of people who have played this game. What is Some that? Some have said uh... that they ended up looking at this woman and now she haunts them. Others claim that some sort of entity has followed them home. Seriously, do not try this game whatever you do. You might get trapped in another world Stranger and things. not be able to get back. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Three Kings. For this game, you need a large empty room without windows, candles, a bucket of water, and a mug, a fan, two large mirrors, three chairs, an alarm clock, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I the steps for this to work are pretty elaborate. Not the first thing. For this game, Every you need to set up windows. the mirrors facing each other with a chair in the middle. The chair is your throne. Bathroom. You're the king. It's not large, The other chairs though. are the queen and the fool. The game starts at 3.30 a.m. You gotta sit in the chair with the lit candles and stare into the darkness. Basically, if you follow all the steps, you will transport your consciousness from this dimension into another. Some have said that they have seen other versions of themselves. Others have said they have gotten answers to their burning questions. Again, if done wrong, this could go very badly. In our fourth spot, we have one man hide and seek. Ever want to play hide and seek by yourself? No, just no. This game is said to summon the dead. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Basically, for this game, you call upon a spirit and present it with a doll that it can possess. And then you play hide and seek with this possessed doll. First off, nope. you need to empty the doll of its stuffing and replace Annabelle's it with Annabelle's gonna have bullet holes all up in it. one of your fingernails or a strand of hair. Then you sew the doll back up. Then you place the doll in a tub filled with water and turn the lights off. You then fill your mouth with some salt water and then I go back to the I thought this was going to be like video the games. I didn't know it was talking like this. Now, have fun playing hide and seek. You need to I'm... find her while still keeping that, that salty water in your mouth. Oh, and you have to find the doll in the dark. Complete darkness. The game ends once you have found the doll and poured the salt water from your mouth on it. Once the doll is dry, you need to burn the doll. People have reported that the game can go on for a very long time. This demon doll likes to play tricks with you. In our third spot, we have Sarah Sarita. This game is kind of close to that whole Charlie Charlie game. Apparently, with this game, you can contact the ghosts of two sisters that passed away in Mexico. Others believe that the girls are demons from hell. Rumor has it that a number of people have been placed in mental institutions after playing this game. So, maybe don't try it. But if you do, you'll need a friend to do it with you. Sit facing each other and you both have to hold a coin in your hand. Then chant together, Sarah Sarita, may we join your game. Then toss your coin. If you both get heads, it's a yes, you can join the game. If the coins land on tails, it means no, you can't join the game. If you get different sides, it means maybe and you gotta ask again. Now, if you ask again and it tells you no, you can't play the game again, then apologize and leave the game. Now, if you did get a yes, then you are in the game and you can ask them any yes or no questions. Now, in order to leave the game, you have to say, Sarah Sarita, can I leave your game? Then you flip the coin. If you get a no, you need to keep playing until they say yes. But a lot of people have said that it's a difficult game to get out of. And if you don't end the game properly, then it could end very badly for you. And at number two, we have Concentrate. Of course. That game, they all end badly. 64. You know what? What was it? I don't even remember. Anyway. I'm just wondering who came up with these games because they are truly messed up. This game apparently shows you the way you're going to die. So to play this game, you need two people. It starts with one person closing their eyes. The other person stands behind them and says this very creepy chant. During the course of this chant, the chanter will pound on the person's back with their fists. The chant itself is fairly long and creepy, so you won't catch me saying it. 
But when the chant is done, the chanter has to push the person forward just a little bit so they lose their balance. Then they open their eyes, and whatever color they see is the way that they're going to die. Like blue means you're gonna drown, yellow means you'll be poisoned, orange means you'll die in a fire, brown means you'll get buried alive, so on and so on. Yeah, I'll pass. And in our number one Wait. spot, we have the Midnight Man. For this game, you are literally welcoming I this kinda terrifying creature. I kind of want to know if I'm going to be buried alive. That way, I can kind of expect it into your home. and avoid so it. So, in order to play, you need a candle, matches, salt, paper, I mean, a pen, a wooden door, with me. and I got a shovel. Of your own and blood. Help me dig First a hole, off, man. write your name on the paper with the pen and prick yourself and put your drop of blood on the paper. Then, place this paper in front of the wooden door. Turn off all your lights and then light your candle. Once it's 11.59 at night, put your candle down and knock on the door 22 times. The 22nd knock must be completed when the clock strikes midnight. Then open the door, blow out your candle, and close your door. Then immediately relight your candle. You have now welcomed the midnight man into your home. Now you have to move through your house without getting caught by him. You have to do What's this that? until 3.33 a.m. If you stay in one place longer than a few seconds, he'll catch you. If your candle goes out and you're unable to relight it within about 15 seconds, stop what you're doing, draw a circle of salt around you, and don't move until 3.33 a.m. Now, you can't leave your house until the game has ended, and you can't turn on any lights. Not following these sets of rules can end very badly for you. Now, you can't see this man, but if he's near you, you'll feel a sense of panic and dread. You'll start to hear voices and hallucinate. Some say if he catches you, he will haunt you for the rest of your life. Others say he'll rip out your organs. So, pick one. Haunt for the rest uh, of your life. I'd rather be haunted. All right, guys, that's all for today's <laughs> video. Let me know in the comments below which game. That's kind of easy. And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 dark guardian angel stories you won't believe are real. May Back Music commented, OMG, OMG, I just can't stop watching this channel. My fave on this channel is Cha. <laughs> Do you mean Che? <laughs> I'm gonna call him Cha from now on. Hey Cha, what's up? <laughs> Sorry. Cookie Queen commented, haven't got a shout out yet, but I think when I was younger I saw a guardian angel. That's kind of cool, and here's your shout out, Cookie Queen. What kind of cookie are you, Cookie Queen? You're the queen of cookies, so which cookie? Oreo? I like Oreos. Minthins? She's Ooh, the queen. Hail to Martin. It's the I cookie married my queen. angle. She's, it's a, His name was green. Michael. He came down to earth to take care of me. His name is Art. Aw. Was he a cute angle? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I make myself laugh. Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my- A cute angle. I've now lost respect. Alright. I'm uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pee myself real quick. I thought it was talking video games. It literally says top 10 games scarier than a Uji. I guess that could have been my hint. <laughs> I thought it was talking video games. I was like, you know, I've been wanting to play some games on here. Let's do some scary games. I didn't know it meant like that. Alright. And lights, I feel, may have been me, but I thought they kind of flickered there for a second. So I was, I was about to be gone. Out of here. Bye, deuces. That door was going to have an imprint of me with a well, an exit hole in the shape of me. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm about to go pee myself. And uh, I'll catch y'all tomorrow with some, some funny videos. My heart is literally... Calm down. You're going to stop. I don't know how that works because you're like... <laughs> Okay, it's, it's chilling out now. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Deuces. <laughs>